learn Korean one word at a time. Only here at Bay Hangul. Word number 49. Opsoyo. Opsoyo. Opsoyo is the exact opposite of isoyo. If isoyo is used to say that I have something or there is something, opsoyo is used to say that there isn't something or I don't have something. The word opsoyo could be divided into three syllables. Ops, o, yo. Ops is formed from the combination of the sounds of o, biop, and siot with a no sound ian at the first position of the syllable. O is just the sound of O itself with a no sound ian at the first position of the syllable. And Yo is just the sound of Yo itself with a no sound ian at the first position of the syllable. O, so, Yo. Let's use Opsoyo in a sentence. Mul Opsoyo. This sentence means, there is no water. The word mul is already discussed on this channel, and we know that this is just the Korean noun for water. And opsoyo, our word for today, is used to say that I don't have something or there isn't something. And for this case, that something pertains to the noun mul, which means water. Therefore, the sentence mul opsoyo simply means there is no water. And with that, you've just learned Opsoyo. Now, let's proceed to the previous 10 words recap. As of now, the previous 10 words are words number 39 to 48. But don't forget, our word for today is word number 49. Of soil, which is used to say that I don't have something or there isn't something. Our word for yesterday is word number 48, isoyo, which is used to say that I have or there is something. Word number 47 is chongmad. This is an adverb which means really or very much. Word number 46 is miyane, and this is an informal way of saying I'm sorry. Word number 45 is chibe, and this is the Korean noun for home. Word number 44 is sigan, and this is the Korean noun for time. Word number 43 is koyangi, and this is the Korean noun for cat. Word number 42 is hakseng. And this is the Korean noun for student. Word number 41 is anieyo. And this is used to say, it's not or it's nothing. Word number 40 is ne. And this is the standard, polite, and casual way of saying yes. And last for our review is word number 39, anieyo which is a formal and polite way of saying no. Congrats! Learn Korean one word at a time. Only here at Bay Hangul. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more Korean words.